Hi and welcome back to my channel. It's Aaliyah from Sailor Mouth Soaps and today I wanted to take you through the making of Golden Milk. It's a turmeric latte soap um, and it's the first time that I've actually worked with coconut milk so I thought it would be interesting just to take you through my experiences and see how it goes. Um, I'm in Australia and although we are in autumn it's still quite warm so I've got a feeling that because of the added milks and the sugars in this and also the fragrance oil blend that I'll be using. It's um, two different fragrance oils and an essential oil that I've mixed together and it smells pretty much like a turmeric latte to me. Um, one of those is quite accelerating. <laughs> so this all together is probably going to mean I'm going to work pretty fast and put it straight into the freezer. So stick with me. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a... Um, <laughs> A seized soap disaster but let's um let's have a go so first of all I'm just going to um, blend through my coconut milk I'm going to do the, the milk in oil method and so because of this I've obviously subtracted um, liquid from my my lye water solution so that is far smaller and far thicker than normal Give this a little blitz just to mix all those globules through. Ooh, it looks very spacey, doesn't it? That's better. Lovely. Actually, I don't need to take that out. Or actually, yes, I do because I'm doing I'm doing something different with my colours today. I've actually added the um, the turmeric, which I'm using as a colourant and also for its its properties within the soap. Um, I've added this to the lye water solution, and that seems to get most of the speckling out. It's not, it's not so much of a problem with the speckling, but I'm still going to give it a really really good strain just to make sure we keep any of the big bits out of the mix. You can see it's a lovely color. It was a pretty strong lye solution. <laughs> very, very steep water discount on that, so I'm not surprised some of these particles haven't actually uh, managed to, to wetten. But I'm loving these new little, um, the little strainer and this mini, mini sized um, spatula. If you're in Australia, I actually got them from Daiso, um, and that's like a 200 yen, 300 yen. I've forgotten what yen equates to, you know, as a dollar. But for Australians, it's about mm, $2.50, $3 uh, for those items. And they have been really, really helpful so far. Just having mini stuff. So go and check it out. Really good. Okay, so I'm now going to bring this to emulsification. Oh, that's a nice color. And really, not much in the way of speckling. Quite nice. And I must apologise, I've fallen behind on my, um, my video schedule. Um, I, I started using a new video editor, and that's all working okay. But I'm such a creature of habit. Even though I've got this new sort of process, I've... I basically just deleted two days worth of videos and I'd made like five soaps in that time. So um, yeah, I lost a lot of footage and um, yeah, I've, I've sort of fallen behind in my videos as you can imagine. <laughs> now this soap's going to be really, really super simple. I'm expecting it to, um, to accelerate quite a bit when I add in the fragrance. 
um, yeah, so it's going to be a very simple soap. I'm not doing any swirls or, or anything like that. I'm going to decorate the top somewhat, but yeah, fairly basic soap in a, all other appearances. <laughs> channel regularly you may have noticed that I tend to do um, you know music over very very sped up footage and that's generally how I like to do videos but I thought it might be fun every now and again if I just jump in and you can actually hear my voice and let me talk you through what I'm doing probably guess this is inspired by golden milk which is like a turmeric um, you know warm milk drink it's really popular in a lot of um, like Indian uh, I think also partly part of the way through Asia so like East Asian countries and turmeric has a lot of reputed health benefits uh, and I, I wouldn't make any 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 claims here of course because this is a cosmetic and not a, not a therapeutic good um, but I encourage you to, you know, look up some of the properties of turmeric and, and see what you think. There's a lot of people that are super into it, but I like it for the flavor. I like it for the scent and the color is just so, so, so lovely. And coming into the colder months here in Australia, it just seems like the kind of soap I feel like, I feel like making at the moment. And this is my fragrance oil today. It is two different fragrance oils and an essential oil all blended in there. And yeah, one of them's kind of accelerating. So let's see how we go. This is going to be such a nice texture to pour. I love a soap batter at this consistency. Okay, I can feel it starting to thicken up on me. Yeah, I'm going to pour that now. I've had a few people comment on these molds. Um, I actually bought them second hand. I bought them from a lady um, on eBay in Australia. She was in far north Queensland. And um, they're from a company called Buzzbee. She said that she bought them on Etsy a while ago. And she was just sort of getting rid of them because she was onto a different batch size and she was needing to make, you know, bigger batches of soap. Uh, so I think I bought six of these molds from her uh, for a really, really good price. So I was absolutely thrilled. Um, I use them almost all the time, except for when I need to do like a slab mold or something. But yeah, Busby is the brand. If you can find any, um, yeah, grab them because they're very good. I might even do a video on how to assemble them because it's um, the first time you do it, it's a little bit full on. And then once you get the hang of it, I can, I can do it really fast now. But to begin with, I was like, ooh. So there's lots of different ways that you can make a golden milk latte and the only sort of consistent ingredient is the um, the turmeric and the milk so you can make the milk um, you know a plant-based milk or you can you know if you if you drink animal milk you can you can do that um, but I use uh, I'm using coconut milk here um, and lots of just warming warming herbs and, and spices really so I'm going to see how I go with texturing the top and I've got a couple of uh, spices here that I would like to try and add on top and they'll purely be for decoration you need to remove it before you actually used the soap I think it might be a bit uncomfortable if you left it on but um, yeah let's see how we go oh that texture Brutal. Okay, give it a tidy. 
The only thing that's a teeny bit annoying about these molds sometimes is you do need to make sure that these um, elastic straps don't work their way down too much because then you end up with a tiny bit of pushback here at the top where it expands out. Not a huge problem, but you know, I like my soaps to be pretty uniform. Not bowing, bowing I should say. So, how crazy is this? I actually like it how it is. I'm not even sure I'm going to texture that. I think that's beautiful. Come back out a bit so you can see what I'm going to do. See what I'm going to do. Look at that. That's just too nice. Hmm. So, I've got some uh, clove buds and some cardamom pods. So, I think cardamom pods are probably the most interesting looking. Oh, my gloves are so sticky. Maybe I do need to flatten it out just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just so the end pieces. Are a bit more uniform. Yeah, here we go. Now I can get a fork into it. That'll look nice. So interestingly enough, I mean, it did begin to set up quite quickly once I added the um, the fragrance and essential oil blend. However, I had I had really blitzed it by that point. But it seemed as if it actually took longer to reach Trace than normal, which is interesting. Um, oh, the only other difference with this batch is the olive oil I've entirely replaced out with um, a, a cold infusion of chamomile olive oil, and that's been cold infusing <laughs> for the last six weeks. And um, this seemed like the perfect soap to put it in because the colour's obviously going to work. I love chamomile. So good in soap. Hmm. Lengthways or widthways? Width. So this is a plastic fork that my husband got with his lunch about two years ago. <laughs> we really, really try not to use anything disposable. And if we do, it gets good mileage. Some botanicals to play with. Okay. Start with some cardamom pods. Aren't they pretty? But yes, you absolutely would not want to use that soap with it on there. Just get my raw. I had some markings on this. Well, actually, maybe it wasn't on this mold. Maybe it was on another one. <laughs> My markings have all gone. So I've just got a sneaky ruler behind me to make sure that I can actually um, get this lined up right. Hopefully.
I might just speed this up for you. So now that they're all placed, I have some cloves and I'm just going to place them in between. And what I'm hoping this will do is, aside from adding some visual interest to the soap, also add some overall fragrance. But you've got to be a bit careful with the spicy scents, don't you? You don't want to go too crazy, but you want to be able to smell the, the, um, the spice. Oh, these gloves. Sticky wicky. So as I'm filming this, I just had one of the most exciting orders ever come through and I won't name names because I'm not really sure that's appropriate that I, I name names, um, but I have just received an order from a very well known and respected uh, soap maker in the US, uh, so also a teacher and an author and yeah, I am quite thrilled to have received an order and extremely flattered. Um, I'm always so excited whenever I receive an order. I mean, it never loses its shine, does it? Like it's always, it's always really exciting. But especially when someone orders from you internationally, and especially when they're also such a well-known, um, you know, person, such a well-known soap maker, it's it's extra, extra thrilling. So I just wanted to share that little <laughs> exciting bit of news with you because it's only happened like in the last half an hour just before I started filming this. Oh, it's so hot my goggles are fogging up. Grrr. I'm actually really considering getting laser eye surgery. I mean, it's a pretty big thing to consider and it's quite expensive but I've worn glasses most of my life and I'm just really over it and it's never been so much of a problem as until I began soap making because of the you know, goggle safety and everything. I just can't get a pair of goggles that don't, in conjunction with my glasses, just fog everything up. I can't wear contacts, they just don't work with my, well, they work, I just don't like how it feels. Okay, let's do a little tidy. good so I'm gonna go and take this straight into the freezer I don't think the fridge will be enough for this one but that's where we have it golden milk latte Here's a little b-roll footage for you. So I put the soap into the freezer immediately after I finished decorating it. And you can see from the side, it has still gelled. And wait for it. It's got a big old heat crack right down the center. Could you imagine what would have happened if I didn't get this into the freezer? I mean, the heat, the heat, I just can't even get over it. Wow. It looks like it's sinking back down again now, but it was quite pronounced before. And you can see, whoops, got that all neatly tucked away. You can see the gel has almost reached the edges. I just, that's, in, that's incredible to me. It's my first time working with any kind of milk and yeah, it definitely heats up. So interesting. And we're back for the cut. Um, I actually forgot to take this out of the freezer. <laughs> um, so in the end it was in the freezer for about 18 hours whereas I'd only really intended to leave it in for about 12 to 16 so then I had to leave it to defrost which means that I'm now filming this at the very very end of the day on a rainy day so the lighting's probably a bit weird and I've got the ring light on it's already looking kind of blown out 
so I'm not sure if you can actually see this okay. It's interesting because from the outside when I first looked at the soap I really thought there was going to be a very very defined um, gel core but cutting into the soap not so much. There's my little end bit sample piece. I like to chop them up and give them away as samples. Lovely. Oh, you know what? When I look at it, I can actually see the halo. I just don't know if you can. I really hope this footage is usable. I've got the ring light on so brightly. Hooray! I'll get those all into trays. Alright, see you soon for the beveling and the final photos.